Okay, today I'm playing around with this two-speed gearbox. Basically, I have one of the uh, blue TT motors. That's the 90 to 1 gear ratio. These uh, two gears here are driven by this motor. This one is just held on with, with the screw. And as you can see right now, the small one will be driving the large one, so this would be moving slowly. But as it comes around where this large one engages the small one, then it's be moving quickly. And what I'm hoping to use this for, and I've actually seen videos of it used before, is in locking mechanisms. So when the leg of your walking robot or whatever you're building is performing the work, moving the, the robot forward, is on the ground, then you, the slow one is what, where that's happening. Then the foot needs to lift, and when it's in the fast one, it immediately goes back to the front and then comes back to the back and back to the front and then back to the back. And by doing that really quickly, there's less chance of a, of your robot tipping over because it uh, takes an X amount of time for something to lose its balance and fall and if the leg moves fast enough forward but then starts the normal slow movement with the power. So, I've normally seen it used on uh, four-legged things but they won't want to keep all the legs on the ground. I'm trying to connect the battery up right now. I'm printing the last gear right there. I'm not having a whole lot of luck hooking the batteries up without knocking everything on the floor. Let's try it again here. Part of the problem is there's not very many places you can hold the gearbox by. Okay. So there you can see it. It's a slow and fast, slow fast, fast, fast. So the fast would be when the foot is in the air and moving to the front, and the slow would be when it's walking. Now I can move this, uh, I'm running this on three volts right now. So for the sake of maybe making it easier to see, I'll run it on one and a half. So you can see the slow and then quicker and slow and then quicker. So I haven't got to anything more of the, uh, robot or walking thing designed yet, whether it'll be two legs or four legs, I don't know. What I'm printing right now is the gear that goes on this side, so these two will be working opposite each other, and um, kind of take it from there. Uh, I'm also experimenting using the elephant foot. If you're, you know, when you print something, this surface being so smooth, you can tell that was the one that was on the surface when it was printed. And that very first layer, which gets squished down, makes the first layer stick out. They're a little bit fatter. I don't know if there's any way we can get that where you can see it, but you can feel it. And the problem with that is, is the gear changes. It's going to bind. It's going to bind up with this one. So you need to get rid of the elephant's foot. On this one, I printed with a uh, 0 0.2 uh, reduction for elephant's foot. And the one that's printing there now is. Uh, 0 0.4. Well, this one was printed at 0 0.4. I did a 0 0.2 on this one, and I printed it again here at a 0 0.4, and I can still feel it. So that's not enough. Um, I may have to try. I'll, ooh, I don't know. Maybe I'll go as high as one millimeter. I really don't know what to set on that. Uh, the only other way around not getting the elephant's foot is to print with a uh, a raft. This one was printed with the wrap, but you can see how that leaves a very rough surface. Now there isn't any elephant's foot. It's, it, uh, it's all the same dimension up and down, but it looks crappy. So I think I'll keep playing around with the uh, elephant foot setting in the uh, Bamboo Lab Slicer. See if I can get rid of that spread of the gears. And at the same time try to decide exactly what it is I want to use this for. It's just... Uh, it's just very unique being able to uh, have a simple mechanism like that which can go from slow to fast, half the cycle slow and half the cycle fast for the walking. We'll see if it uh, can actually be used for anything or not.